Today we're going to talk about the pull-up, how you can get better at it, and what are some different progressions of the pull-up. So stick around. The first thing we're going to talk about is grip width. I would start just outside shoulder width with your grip. You could go really wide or you could go underhand. Go somewhere that feels comfortable with your shoulders. So sometimes being overhand is uncomfortable for people. Um, being underhand might be a little bit more comfortable. Try them out, see what you like best. When you're going overhand, you're gonna get more development from your back and going underhand, you get more from the biceps. If you're struggling with grip or you're just wanting to feel your back more, you could use straps to hold on to the bar or use chalk. I highly recommend use chalk, using chalk. If you're at a gym that doesn't allow you to use chalk, find a new gym. Now, they also do make that liquid chalk that doesn't leave the powder everywhere. So do use that. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is range of motion. Um, so you wanna go from locked elbows to your chin over the bar. That's one range of motion you could pick. The next range of motion you could pick is locked elbows all the way to your upper chest. You're traveling further and that's gonna be more difficult. And the last version is going, again, locked elbows all the way to your sternum. That's gonna be a crazy difficult way to do a pull-up. Um, but again, that's one way that you could progress your pull-up. In all those variations, you should try and avoid doing like halvesy reps where you're barely moving um, in the pull-up. Try and get a full range of motion. If you're unable to do so, there's a couple of variations that I'll show you at the end of the video that make this easier. So how low do you go at the bottom of a pull-up? Do you let your shoulders go into your ears for a dead hang? Or do you keep your shoulders out of your ears? Um, part of that has to deal with how pain-free are you? Some people will never have an issue if they do dead hang pull-ups and other people will have pain. So listen to your shoulders um, and do what you are capable of doing. I instruct people to keep their shoulders out of their ears. You're less likely to have discomfort in your shoulders if you're doing it that way. You do want to control the eccentric of the rep as well, which is the way down. That's going to make the exercise more difficult, but that's not why we're doing this exercise to make this easy. The point is to develop your back muscles and your pull-up ability. A couple of things you want to avoid in your pull-up. Number one is swinging like an absolute maniac. Um, a kipping pull-up is a totally different exercise. This is not a tutorial for the kipping pull-up. If that's what you're trying to do, this is not a tutorial for that. Um, so for just the pull-up, avoid swinging. Another thing you want to avoid is just dropping to the bottom of your pull-up. People do this because it's harder to control the way down. Foot position in the pull-up can be different depending on where you feel just the most stable. You could put your feet out in front of you. Um, you could cross your legs behind you. Do whatever is going to give you the best feeling of stability throughout the pull-up. Again, the focus is what is your back doing? What are your shoulder blades doing? When pulling up, you want to avoid um, rounding your shoulders. So pull with a really big and tall chest. That's just going to be how you're going to get the most development out of your back. And a couple of variations that you could use um, if you're unable to do tons of great pull-ups, which it's a difficult exercise, are pull-up negatives. Here's an example of what that looks like. I'm just stepping up onto a box and stepping off of the box from the top of a pull-up. Very slowly, I'm controlling it from top to the bottom, and that's gonna make me stronger through the full range of motion. I'm just traveling one way, so that'll absolutely make you strong. Another variation to make it a bit easier is using a band on your pull-up. I'm not the hugest fan of bands, but they absolutely work. You will progress if you do use them. Um, but the strength curve on a pull-up is basically it's going to be hardest from the bottom position to pull up to a bar, right? But that's also where you're going to get the most help from a band. So if you want to develop the whole pull-up evenly, I would try and use like an assistance machine if you have that available to you. Um, I do like those negatives as well. That's the pull-up. Um, and a couple of different ways that you can make it easier, subscribe to the channel and smash the like button, smash it, 
and you're going to get all updates from us regarding exercise tutorials, nutrition tips, and more. Um, also check out rapidfitnessonline.com for all of our programs, nutrition trips, trips, nutrition tips, and more. See you soon. Forget and forget, this is what you saw, yeah, I don't want to make back. I just want to say all the frontline workers, look at what they gave back, yeah. Now we all square when I got new circles. Okay.